Essex made slow progress with the bat on the penultimate day of their LV County Championship match with Hampshire in Colchester, with Ravi Bapara batting through 79 overs in total for his 79 runs before Hampshire came charging back. Bapara was on 24 at the start of the third morning, but lost his overnight partner Tom Wesley to the 16th ball of the day as he was bowled by Liam Dawson. That delivery would have given plenty of early encouragement to Dawson and fellow spinner Danny Briggs, who now had the job of removing Bapara or Jesse Ryder. With the former blocking out at one end, the New Zealander mixed an equally solid defence with the occasional flourish. He hit a couple of huge sixes, including this one off Dawson, as he made a 50 in the first session off 73 balls as Essex looked to get ahead of Hampshire's 246. Papara, meanwhile, scored only 28 runs in the first two hours, including two fours in one Briggs over, which brought him his half century off 167 deliveries. He was still there at the break on 52, made out of his sides 168 for two. That put Essex just 78 runs behind their opponents and after 19 more runs were added, Ryder was bowled by Briggs for 69 before Ryan Tenderscarter cut the same bowler to James Tomlinson. Bapara fell for a 254 ball 79 after more than four and a half hours of batting and then James Foster edged Tomlinson to Dawson to go for 18. Essex were losing their way after Ryder and Bapara had added 114 runs in 40 overs. From 187 for two before the Kiwi was out, the home side had now slipped to 230 for six, still 16 runs behind their opponents. The innings was going in the opposite way to Hampshire's. They'd recovered from 97 for seven to make their 246 after the first day had been washed out. Greg Smith and Graham Napier added 24 more for the seventh wicket. But after tea, Nathan Rimmington dragged one back off the pitch to claim his first wicket in the championship. Napier the man to go LBW for nine, with the lead a slender one of eight. Smith on 20 was then strangled down the leg side to give Rimmington a second success. That left Essex on 259 for eight, their chance of a big first innings lead now gone. Even more so when Sads Mahmood was bowled by Dawson just one run later. Hampshire had been rewarded for their patience throughout the day. Monty Panasar had a bit of fun in putting on 25 runs for the last wicket. But Sean Irvin finished off the innings by running out Tim Phillips. Essex ending on a total of 285, their last eight wickets falling for 98 runs. Jimmy Adams and Michael Carberry then balanced the game right up by quickly removing that first innings deficit of 39 with an opening stand of exactly that. The latter, who made a 32-ball duck on the previous day, looked to play some shots this time. Carberry scored three fours off the first over, in fact. Adams, though, was out to Phillips half an hour before the close, offering Tender Scarter a catch after making 18. But Carberry and Will Smith then took their side through to the close. After a tough opening session, Hampshire had bossed the last two. They go into the final day on 83 for one in their second innings with a lead of 44, which means unless something very unusual happens, this game will be drawn, which will at least keep the visitors clear of third place Surrey in the second division table. Essex, meanwhile, really needed a win.